Hello everybody, Jim Fleeler, Vice President of Sales for Charlotte Products. Uh, thanks for joining us today uh, where we're going to spend about two minutes on our three bay dish and pot and pan washing system. Some people may be aware of the procedures, but some people may not. Uh, and really what, uh, what COVID has taught us, some of the learnings for that and now that we're in post-COVID times, uh, is health authorities and local health inspectors and Health Canada, they'll really be looking for some improvements and making sure you're following the proper protocol, plus the customer who's coming in, so that's the residential people coming in your restaurants. We need to rebuild the trust that we're cleaning and sanitizing our facilities properly. So really, that's the important role of this. So what we've got here is we've got our, our wall chart, our training chart, where you can see step one is wash, step two is rinse, step three is sanitize and really then the air dry goes from there. We've also got on here our, our PPM paper and this is critical uh, because you have to make sure you have the proper parts per million that are based on your actual product of the sanitizer you're using and in this case it's 200 parts per million okay and we want to verify that and I'll show you in a second and really half of the problem that we have is is employee turnover and pe people really trying to mix more product than what they need. That is not a sustainable or really in the best interest of employee wellness or budgetary and they're all challenges that we have. So we've got our serve clean dish heavy duty. We've got our serve clean sanitize as well. And these are high dilutions in the hundreds. As a matter of fact, one to 512 and serve clean is about one to 250. You cannot expect an employee to actually dilute that and particularly bring it into parts per million. So we've taken, and part of the services at Charlotte is our training for to teach your people to install these, whether it's virtual or hands-on or whatever. So here's our dispenser. Here's my dishwashing sink. You can see my dish HD I want to fill to this line. My rinse water here, my sanitizer here. You can adjust that in your facility to whatever level you want to have that on. If you don't have as many dishes, obviously let's not waste water and make it lower. If you have more, let's, let's uh, make it higher, okay? So I've got my dish here and this is exactly how simple it is. I take my mall mounted dispenser, dish HD, turn it on. That automatically fills my sink, dilutes 100%, okay? This particular center bay is rinse water, so that takes any kind of gross debris or, or, or matter that's left over from the washing sink and rinses it off. And then this is my sanitized sink, and I'll show you exactly how that works. Same way the dish does. Just basically turn on, it automatically dilutes and fills the sink for you. So from a training perspective, that's all you need to do. These can be mounted on the wall above. They can also be mounted in pails or gallons below, depending on your outfit. So let me show you how to wash some dishes, okay? So I'm gonna take my dish here. I'm gonna put it in and generally watch your local plumbing coats because they'll ask for 120 degree or 140 degree water. It depends, it's variable. So you can see I'm just doing a, a, a wash there. I'm doing a water rinse, okay, and so I'm dipping to take any debris off, and then I'm placing it in my sanitizer bay. Now, the time frame that's needed is according to the label, and when you're using our Serve Clean Sanitize, that's 60 seconds. So once that I have my detergent in and my rinse water and my sanitizer, the most critical point really uh, is making sure that your parts per million are there, okay? And it's just a matter of taking your PPM paper, doing a dip, okay? And then basically matching it to the color of the PPM that you wanna get. So this is a visual check. It, uh, it'll tell you and verify that you're within the, the, the standards or you're not, okay? Uh, if you're not, you obviously will maybe need to redrain because you've expent some of the sanitizing uh, uh, strength from, from doing too many dishes and refill, and that's all you need to do to do that, okay? So that is very strict, and the inspectors that come in will ask you to actually do that. So I've washed my dish, I've rinsed my dish, and then I've got my sanitizer, which is sat in there 60 seconds, and all I need to do is set it in my, in my air dry tray, or tray and let it dry. That is it. That's all you need to do to use a three bay wash system in a legal fashion uh, in, in any particular public facility. 
So that's as simple as really what it is, okay? We've got a brand new training setup, a center set up here that you can actually come and work with us where we'll teach you, we'll teach you virtually, but I mean cost effective, safer. It addresses the fact of, of employee turnover and training and all of those things and regulatory compliance and really making sure you're sanitizing and cleaning the dishes for your public that's coming back into your facility, which rebuilds trust. Uh, which is really about long-term sustainable business. With that being said, for more information, visit us at charlotteproducts.com. Thank you. Stay safe.